Uh, today we're talking about Chapter 9, Handling Multiple Resources with the value. Uh, uh, this is the first section, uh, 9.1. Uh, example for uh, for this chapter is using a urgent care clinic. Um, <clears throat> we're going to show you uh, quickly the server who has multiple resources. Uh, and also, we're trying to show you the value logic for that. And let's talk about this uh, short uh, part first. And we we'll see. And first, this is a problem statement. We have patient arrive and 6.5 minutes uh, on the average follow exponential distribution. And the patient walks about 4.5 uh, kilometers for every hour is hourly. And when the patient arrives, they go through a recep uh, receptionist, and after receptionist, go to one of the rooms and <clears throat> for get exam or treat it, and then come back to go to the clerk and pay and leave. So this is basically a doctor's clinics, and here, and also out from there is a waiting room waiting for the receptionist and so on and so forth, and <clears throat> and the distance given from the entrance to receptionist as 5 meters on the receptionist to the rooms is 25 meters from the room uh, medical room to uh, the clerk for billing is 25 meters and from the clerk to uh, exit is 5 meters processing time also and register and cost uh, will spend about 1 to 3 minutes on the uniform distribution Exam time is follow a per distribution with a minimum 12 minutes for exam, uh, most likely 18 minutes. The maximum could take half hours. And the clerk's service time is about uniform distributed, about three to six minutes. So this is our first prototype. Let's look at the prototype. I do not want to spend time to show you how to build from the scratch. This is already built. I want just go in to show you some of the uh, features I already built in. Of course, the patients, um, going to line this up a little bit. And the patient coming in, um, about 6.5 minutes on the average, okay, on the average. And uh, first go to a receptionist and uh, is uh, processing times one to three minutes uniform distribution goes to the room. The server also uh, has a four different rooms, so the capacity equals to four. Processing time is minimum 12 hours, average 18, maximum 13 uh, minutes in that case. And then it goes to the clerk, and the service time. For billing is about three to six minutes uniformly distributed and leave. A very simple uh, problem. And also, <clears throat> so this is our first models and just set it up. Okay, so here I'm going to come back to continue talks about this. And first thing is we're trying to uh, uh, kind of animate if a different type of color and represent different number of. Uh, resources are busy and so on and so forth. Let's take a look at that as well. So the model itself <clears throat> and the model itself here I have for this particular um, server uh, this particular server I put in three different type of a color and each one of the color represents and Three different color. One, uh, the blue represent is idols. The green represent is busy. Uh, zero, uh, two represent is is uh, actually occup has an interrupt or it's a failure. And we easily see that this is the same thing. So <clears throat> for the other server, I only have two color. Zero represent as normal. Uh, one represents failure or and so on and so forth. So here we can see that in the animation portion, if it's a server failure, uh, look at the, over here, if server fails, and then <clears throat> we're using the second picture. Otherwise, if the capacity is greater than zero, 
uh, or not, I'm going to using zero or one. So this is the if if server is value act activated, and then I'm using the second color, and otherwise based on the capacity allowed, either using z uh, is greater than zero or not. So the uh, the return value for this sentence, uh, this condition is basically return zero, zero or one. If it's uh, the capacity is allocated is greater than zero means there are more than one rooms are occupied it will return one if it's none of the uh, rooms are occupied it will return zero let's take a look how this is happening okay and quickly I want to show you <clears throat> and we can define the so-called uh, value for example uh, section point two let me go on section point two <clears throat> and there are so-called value exceptions and in this case uh, example we're using so-called uh, uh, interruption basically the receptionist got phone call from outside randomly every 30 minutes or so and takes about one to six minutes uh, one minute minimum uh, um, uh, typically three minutes maximum six minutes to finish the phone call. Also, physician got phone call as well to ask a, a medical uh, related question and these phone call as filtered by this receptionist actually so it's average about six hour between the call and typically take about uh, 40 to 60 minutes and most likely 55 minutes to finish the call. So the call to a consultant uh, was a tel uh, kind of a telemedicine so you have called in, you have a Skype, I'll call it in for require the physician to do some <coughs> uh, interruption. Uh, interruption. So here we can uh, talk about um, C meals of value pattern. Uh, seen, uh, each one of the server and workstation can have no failure pattern, and the failure pattern based on the time, uh, calendar time, or it can be based on event count. So how many parts uh, a process they will have. Uh, uh, event count so, so certain event happen multiple times and then you will have a value or you can have a process count which means actually process certain number of parts and then your uh, server will go to and also you have a processing time base so uh, if you your server or workstation process the parts for a certain period of time and then you also could have a value so this today is, uh, is very easy. We just follow a so-called time calendar time base the value, uh, r roughly for the <clears throat> for the doctors about uh, 360 uh, minutes, which is a six hour, and repair time, which is the consulting portion, is, uh, takes 40 to 60 minutes uh, on the per distribution average of that. And let's look at the model right here. So you can see that it is right here. And the calendar time base for this uh, receptions is the same thing. You get an interruption about 30 minutes uh, every 30 minutes, and each phone call will take one to six minutes. About right around three minutes, you can finish that. So this is how we process the whole thing. But I want to mention one thing in this section is um, uh, once for this servers actually have a full capacity, four rooms. Um, if it's once the server's failure happens and then actually the entire four rooms are uh, not processing, so it's, just, it's breakdown actually proceed for all four rooms together. And this is sometimes what we want and sometimes we do not want this type of situation. However, this is how server setup uh, it is. So if we want to simulate so-called power outage uh, over 60, uh, six hours per, uh, every six hours, that, that makes sense. But in this case, this is just the physician just get one of the physician getting phone call, not four of them getting the same phone call at the same time. I want to actually illustrate this. I'm going to put a <coughs> labels right here, represent the servers, uh, how many are allocated. So, and here I'm trying to see for the path three, I want to add another label. 
to show how many are passing through this portion. So I'm here I'm going to do giving a path three and number of travelers and actually enter this portion. Okay, so I want you to pay attention when I run and notice when this uh, room turned to red means it's having an interruption and none of the patient got processed go through there. So this number right here, I'm going to put a different color, the green ones, and it will not increase during the inter uh, interruption. Uh, let me see if, okay, so I'm going to run this a little bit faster. <coughs> And what happens every six hours, so it's going to take some time. And you will see this receptionist got interrupt some from time to time, turn to red. Okay. Um, we're going to pay attention when the doctor's office turned red. Okay. Now the doctor's office turned red. All four doctors are occupied. And I want you to pay attention to this uh, this uh, path. See, no during this period of time, nobody passing through until the interruption is over. So, 18 state. Uh, okay, once it turns to uh, green, and then it will continue have patient output from there. So this is one of the defects for this model. But I want to conclude this section for now.